bong. Yeah, I don't know. I, I was going to try to do a video about, um, I shouldn't say a, a video about, good God, I had my reading glasses on. Um, was going to do the uh, a video about the movement, I just uh, ran out of time. My nephew and um, his fiance showed up, we were just yabbering on about the property and stuff, which was a good thing. I guess maybe this is the way to look at the video. Um, it's been a good week, an interesting week, and I think... Um, Actually, your comments have made, uh, certainly helped me um, temper my um, emotions and redirect me towards, you know, I mean, I, I knew, it, but it's nice to have that. I'm saying is it's appreciated and thank you. Um, God, there's a lot of stuff going on here uh, in my head. Um, <clears throat> maybe I'm going to start off with one that maybe it'll pop it off is... I'm really glad that Meandering Mike mentioned that he had ended up talking to one of his uh, close friends or somebody he knows and considers close um, for like three hours and they hadn't talked for something like in 10 years or, so, or whatever. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, oh, there's the other side thing. I uh, watched a video with Zoe and she supposedly gave me the illness and supposedly my nephew. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We all give each other everything, right? Um, even that word, that effing word, right, you gave it to me. Um, Zoe, uh, explained or described my symptoms perfectly. I went, oh my goodness, okay. So this has been my first best day of not hacking my brains out, but it's still, I get those weird tickles and stuff. Oh, God. Um, anyways, we'll get back to, thankfully, Meandering Mike made that video and mentioning that because... One of my friends, Chris Gates, has been in and out of my head. I haven't talked to him in ages, and he's extremely important in my life. Um, somebody I would consider a life brother. The only difference is, I would say for me, is we've had different parents. But we're, like, it's one of those things, yet again, you don't see them for years, and it, it's no big deal. However, the last time I saw him... He was moving from uh, out west back to out east. He's from Nova Scotia. And here we go. Um, <clears throat> he was passing through and he said, Hey, Chris, I'm going to you know come and hang out with you. I was like, obviously. And um, we had a flipping awesome time. Uh, not very long, but... An, oh, God almighty. We get together. It's like... Whatever. <sighs> Extremely whatever. Um... He was having health issues, and that's the reason why he was moving back out east to get with his family and so on and so forth. He's from Sackville, Nova Scotia. Um, and I haven't really heard from him since. A couple of times since, but uh, uh, not. And a friend of mine, the three of us are like... Um, uh, it's hard to explain. I'll talk about it later. Uh, Troy, the other guy, he's uh, now lives in Tasmania. He's from Australia. Well, not whatever, but he lives in Tasmania now. Um, we were talking about Chris Gates recently, and I was like, "Oh, have you talked to him?" And vice versa. And no, no. And oh, he should be doing. Oh, <coughs> excuse me. Okay. Yeah, but but, and so on and so forth. So that came up, and I'm like, "Yeah, you better get a move on." I've been thinking about it, anyways. Then I've been talking about, and there's where I said about tempering my emotions, about getting the hell out of here. Um, I'm like, you know what? Maybe I'm going to see if work can finally work for me. I'll give them one last chance. I'll give them one last time to treat me right. Um, that's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to, whatever. I'm just going to say, treat me right. Do me right this time. Just this once. Um, I'm going to ask for a transfer. Uh, I'm going to ask for a transfer to either Nova Scotia or Newfoundland, uh, the East Coast. I've been to both coasts. I've li actually lived on the West Coast for a little bit. That's where I met uh, Troy um, and inadvertently re-met Chris Gates. It's a long story, like I said. Um, anyways, he's from... <coughs> excuse me. I love the people there. Love the people. Both coasts. It's a different vibe. Um... They don't try to run you over with their cars. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm going to try something, see if it works. Maybe I shouldn't. Damn it.
Hmm. I will. I'll risk it. No, well, maybe I won't. I'll just take a sip of water. But I think I know for a fact that I was able to pause the video with the camcorder, man, because I didn't use the mobile phone when I went for my little walk on the first day of my holidays when I dropped off my winter bike. On a second note, you want to talk about another old friend? This is my second listen through of uh, Kraftwerk, uh, Autobahn by Kraftwerk. God, man, I haven't listened to that in so long. And it brought me back to Chris Gates because the last time he was here, he saw my vinyl copy out of its sleeve and lost his fucking marbles. He was like, what the hell is this doing? You're treating this like shit. Um, I just felt bad. I was like, yeah, I'm sorry, man. Um, I don't know how the hell I ended up uh, popping on Kraftwerk tonight, but I'm glad I did. And I sent the link to Zoe and... Um, I was like, look, just to let you know, it's primitive electronic or whatever. But when I first heard it when I was a kid, uh, uh, -hoo -hoo, all I got to say. Um, and it uses Charles Latour's word constantly. Fun, fun, fun. Constantly. It's just nuts. Uh, so there you go, Charles. Um, hmm. So back to, yeah, so I'm glad that um, Meandering Mike brought his thing up, uh, like the thing about that. So, And with my colleague, he was saying, okay, if you're going to transfer to Nova Scotia, you should like look for the Dartmouth, uh, Dartmouth office. And if you're going to go there, look for properties in Sackville. Like, come on, man. What is going on here? Anyways, um, so in other words, things are, yeah, I'm not going to like freak out. I'm going to try to do it proper. Tro proper. Um, yeah, so I, uh, on a second note with my videos, I wanted to um, start doing for the live stream. I, I was about halfway through. Um, not, I can't do it tonight because it's too late. I need my second sleep to get ready for waking up to do a proper, like, you know, hit return and so on and so forth to make things happen for the live stream. Um, uh, I want to start, I have been pseudo working on it, um, got about halfway through, but I was like, oh shoot, um, I need to go upstairs and actually film it. What I'm doing is, and I'll, I'll hopefully do it for next week, is, <coughs> sorry, I'm so sorry, man, hopefully this will be the last flipping, ha ha ha, cough, coffee cough, um, I've been going through my little, uh, hold on, here's the book. The chronology of the Great War. So what I'm doing is, uh, and a year before I used Wikipedia, and what I want to do is show you what was going on during that week. I'll call it the week that was. And um, so I'll show you like just what was going on the year before the war started and then after the war started, just to get, get some context. Then I'm going to use this during the war. So I'm not going to go and... And only look for um, what I consider important, but that doesn't mean that's all that happened. And it also is going to be a connection to my, um, how much time I have and so on and so forth. And it may get better or worse, like what's going on in my, you know, my life or whatever. So, oh darn it. <coughs> I don't think I have. Maybe I do right here. Hold on. So, for example, I've got it written down much better here, but here's my, like my very, very first notes, initial notes earlier in the week. So, for like 1915 here, I don't know if you can see that, but it's like Eastern, Eastern Front on the 2nd of January, Russian successes on the, the Bazura and, oh, was that, was, you know, January for okay, Russian progress near the Uzak and so on and so forth. <coughs> Just to kind of give everybody and myself some interesting you know, things of what was going on. Um, but I want to contextualize that or put it into perspective with Der Weltkrieg. So when I start talking about the Bazura River or that battle happened, so I'm going to pre-record this stuff and put it at the beginning of the Saturday live streams to kind of, you know, as people stream in, all three or four of us, um, I'll put out a Der Weltkrieg map and say, 
Okay, in 1915, in you know February, whatever the week that was, on the Eastern Front, this happened here, and you'll see it, um, you know, from a uh, from the Der Weltkrieg map kind of thing. Kind of give it a bit of whatever, because I always want to put it that way. Um, so that'll be like maybe my little intro of every live stream is what I'm thinking. <coughs> Darn it. I should have written some stuff down, but uh, probably, yeah. It's been a bit of, like, yet again, a ramble. Um, yeah, I'm just, yeah, I'm, I'm a bit tired now, which is a good thing. I think it's been a lot of stuff going on this week. Um, but in a good way. Um, oh, and on a side, on a final side note about can games, um, I, in contact with the person that's doing the board game, Fairy, um, I'm going to see if she wants to, just have to pay a penny. So I've, I sent out an email to Can Games. I want to be a vendor. I'm going to try to uh, just to use a little booth. And what I want to use the booth for, because I've got a lot of ideas, uh, gaming-oriented ideas. It may make a little money. Uh, maybe a thousand dollars a year. I'm not looking like I'm just realistic. Just maybe to compensate. Like give me an airline ticket there and back. <coughs> Economy, sadly. Um, but I thought it could, um, can games, so hold on. Oh, good God, man. Yeah, please, let's be the last bit. It's that flippin' tickle. Oh, uh, hold on, I've got some Buckley's. Maybe you, uh, other people don't know what Buckley's is, but, um, Buckley's cough syrup is evil. But it works. Oh, it is evil. Even as a kid, you would smell it coming towards you and you'd be like, Oh, Jesus Christ, here it comes. Um, and you take a spoonful of this stuff, your breath would be taken away, and so would the cough. That's the thing. That's the thing. Oh, my God. So here we go. And this stuff, um, it's so old because I haven't been sick in ages. Um, the expiry date is 2017, and there was basically nothing left. So what I did was I just um, threw some water, shook, shook the shit out of it, and we'll see what happens. Oh, sweet Jesus, mother. Oh, I love it, though. It's good love. It's like, um, yeah, it's good. Smack you upside this head, love. Um... So hopefully that's the end of the drink, uh, coffee. What the hell was it again? Yeah, yet again, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Um, yeah, I really don't. Hmm, I guess I'll just have to leave it at that. So, ah, ah. Lord of mercy, so I was tired. Yeah, I love the world right now. Um, that's about it, I guess. Oh, so I'm sniffly. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm tired. I want to start thinking about... Um, Mm. Uh, 2023 just sounds just sounds interesting um, I just hear about a lot of gaming wise even like uh, I'm just like throwing off in Wonderland here like you hear about Art Wolf Slayer and him talking about um, uh, like I don't follow his I'm trying to stay away from it's just too much whatever not him personally it's just uh, yeah, forget it um, about his, um, oh shoot, uh, uh, Art Wolf Con and stuff. Um, you see what I mean? Like, and it, there, there seems to be this, people are starting to get their, find, find their place or find their, I'm not, find their groove or, I, I don't know, I'm just looking at a, uh, I don't know, a third golden age. There just seems to be like some really, oh, oh, my battery's losing its mind. Have a great time. I'll see you later.